right now, you guys are probably familiar with this by now, we are in Mozilla Thimble. And what we have is a blank template from scratch, a new example, new things we're learning. So I'm going to start changing this little title element for my website. And my website for this example is going to be wow HTML plus cats. And as you guys know, we the you don't get to see the actual title page on this preview side because it lives in the usually for your like browser window, and that's what Google uses to like find the name of your website. So what I'm gonna do is this little H1 tag, I'm gonna change it to the title of our website. Wow, HTML plus cats. And then let's see, in this little P element, I'm going to write this website is about cats with a bit of HTML. Okay, so this website is about cats and HTML. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna add a picture of a cat. So in Mozilla Thimble, how you can add a picture to your website, your little Mozilla Thimble template, is you go right over here to this little green button. It looks like a document. And you guys can see as I hover over it, it says new file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the new file button and I'm going to upload a file. So something you guys need to know, understand about your website and HTML and everything is that if you're gonna have a picture or an object on your website, the HTML and CSS in the browser, they all need to know where to look for the object. So if I don't upload an image to my Thimble template, or if I don't have a hyperlink to where this file exists, it won't work. So first I'm gonna show you guys how to upload a file and put your own image from like your browser onto your Thimble project. And then I'm gonna also show you guys how to find a picture that's somewhere on the internet and put it in this template. So first I'm gonna click upload a file and I'm gonna look for an image on my computer. So I'm gonna click from your computer and here is an image that I'm gonna upload. So I'm gonna click the button, open, right? And nothing happens on the actual page, but you'll notice here on the side where it says files that my image of the cat is here. And for the reference, this is a picture of my cat Popoki. You guys can also put a picture of your cat or pet on the internet if you would like to. I'm using my cat because this website is called Wow HTML Plus Cats and I think my cat's pretty great. Um, so also what you'll notice is that it, Mozilla Thimble makes it really easy for us to see the colors in the image itself, right? So the computer scans the image and it notices, hey, I see these browns in your picture or I notice this red from like my tablecloth. Uh, that's pretty cool. And if you scroll down, you can also add effects on your Mozilla Thimble um, website. So pinhole, we got some sapia. You'll also notice that the colors adjust as we change the filter, which I think is really fun. Some sunrise, ooh, glowing sun. Mm. This is kind of fun, isn't it? All right, so how about Okay, I'm going to do the emboss because it looks really weird. So I'm going to apply this filter. All right, and I'm going to go back to the HTML. All right, and we'll see that we still don't see the picture <laughs> because we haven't written the HTML code for the picture for our thimble. So how do we do this? What do we, how do we even begin? All right, to add a picture onto your HTML page, what you're going to first do is find where you're gonna put the image. And I'm hit return, I'm gonna put the image right here in our code. And I'm going to start typing how to call it, so. All right. So the first step is you write that little at left sort of arrow thing, right? And then you write the words IMG, which stands for image. And the next part is you have to say where the image actually is. So I'm gonna type in the letters S, R, C. And what this means is, where's the source of the image? Where is the actual image? So 
when I click the word, when I click the equal sign, we'll see that Mozilla Thimble already knows where certain files or web pages for our website are. Um, and it makes it really easy for us to include files that we upload from our own computer onto Thimble and include it in our website. So you can see here that I see this img um, underscore 0331.jpg. And if you look over here, you'll see that this is the exact name of our picture of Popoki. So if I go back to the index.html and I write this little quotation marks and I click on that, uh, we'll see that the name for my file of the image is right here. And if I close it out, there we have it. We have a picture of Popoki on my web page. Thank you.